Good day everybody, it's Christy from OK Keto. So today is Wednesday, March 4th, and another day of what I eat in a day videos. Because like I've said before, I have incorporated the protein to energy ratio into my lifestyle now. So along with that, I've created also an eating window. My first meal I've been eating at 11 a.m., my second 3 p.m., and my third at 7 p.m. If I eat something after my third, say some yogurt or a premier protein shake or something, I will at least try to have that before 9 p.m. So I'm creating a whole package. I'm no longer worried about what the scale has to say as far as the numbers. I'm trying to keep my protein at 140, so I'm trying to hit 140 grams at least every day in protein. And then my energy, which is your carbs, which I'm keeping it under 20. So my carbs and my fat combined, I'm keeping underneath in my protein number. So that's where I get my protein to ratio. I'm also gonna start not worrying about so much what the scale has to say because what's more important what the scale has to say is your height to waist measurements so uh it's more important than bmi it has more important factors if you're at risk for diabetes or stroke or anything like that they they say you should actually go more by your height to waist so something else i'm focusing on keeping that height to waist in check so I do want to lose probably about two more inches off of my waist. Another thing is I want to build muscle, lean muscle, and I want to build my bones. I want to keep my bones nice and strong. So I have incorporated some bands onto my door in my hallway, and it's just going to be resistance training. I'm going to do several times a day with some, like I said, the bands that are on a system in my house. I'm not going to a gym. And instead of sitting at my laptop, I have started standing at my laptop and just doing like squats. Every hour I'll do like 10 squats while I'm standing there at my laptop. And it's just one whole big package I have now started to incorporate into my life. I'm about to be 40 years old. I really wanna keep focusing on building muscle that's really gonna help me as I age. And I wanna keep my bones nice and strong, you know, osteoporosis and things like that. So that's why I'm also doing this protein to energy ratio. And uh, yeah, I'm learning a lot about myself. And intuitive eating, I thought it was working for me, but I realized like sometimes I was thinking, well, you know, I'm, I'm hungry, but really I wasn't. It was more like I didn't get enough sleep and so on. So I don't think that was working too well for me. So I think that keeping a schedule like this is actually working better. Um, I know I can't believe I'm saying that myself because I was like, no, I don't like to follow schedules and stuff like that. But I think the schedule is actually really working for me. And I feel really satiated with this uh, meat. And Miranda came in, you know, I'm, me, I mean like higher protein. Miranda came in the other day and was like, mom, your stomach is like the flattest I've ever seen. Which was amazing to hear because I have a lot of skin, excess skin on my stomach. I was one time 322 pounds and I've never had skin removed and I, I personally don't plan on having skin removed. So whatever I can do to help that, I'm going to try to help it as much as I can and enjoy my best life. So let me stop talking. It is time for me to get to making something to eat and if you're interested in seeing what I eat the rest of the day, stick around. It'll happen. Okay, so for my first meal of the day, I have six ounces of leftover rotisserie chicken. I have two slices of cooked bacon that I tore in half. I have one large egg, and I have one tablespoon of mayo that I mixed with one teaspoon of sriracha to make a sriracha mayo that I drizzled on top. And this is going to be my first meal of the day. You will see me when I go to eat again. Okay, so for my next meal, I have this organic ground beef, grass-fed. I get it at Sam's Club, the 8515. I made four ounces is what I measured out. There's the macros on that. And then I took one slice of this reduced-fat Swiss cheese, the Good and Gather. I get it at Target. There's the macros. So I fried up the ground beef, I put the Swiss cheese on top, and then I add a little bit of this taco seasoning. I get this kind because it has no carbs in it. Show you the ingredients. So 
And I'm also going to have this sipping bone broth, the chicken, lemon, and rosemary. And you will see me when I go to eat again. Okay, so for my next meal, I have an 8 ounce sirloin steak that I cooked medium rare. I have a half a tablespoon of Kerrygold butter on top. I also fried my steak in a half a tablespoon of Kerrygold butter. And I sprinkled a little bit of this Mrs. Dash garlic and herb seasoning blend on top as well. And there's the macros on the seasoning. And the ingredients. And you will see me when I go to eat again. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to have this evening is this Faya yogurt, the 0% milk fat. I measured out 170 grams. That's the macros on this. This does not affect me. It does not raise my blood sugar, but you want to check and make sure that it won't affect you because everybody's different. And to that, I added one tablespoon of this unsweetened shredded coconut, the Let's Do Organic. It's finely shredded. So one tablespoon. Here's the macros on that. And again, this is for uh, the serving size is two and a half tablespoons. I'm going to use one tablespoon. And I'm also using two capfuls of this sugar-free pineapple flavored syrup. It's kind of along the lines of Jordan's Skinny Syrup. And there's the macros on that. And this is what it looks like. And I did cut up one large strawberry. I just sliced in three parts. And that is what is in here. And this is how I'm going to wrap up my full day of eating. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.